This is another video of things I didn't expect before coming out as trans or things I wish I would have known if I were. You, it's the title, leave me alone. This is going to be more around media because I feel like it, media is a huge problem as of the time that I'm making this video. And if you don't, if you're kind of confused on what I mean by that, we'll just get right into it. Um, so the first point I put in my notes is trans interviews. Now, some of you may or may not know this, but uh, in 2015, I, and even like earlier this year, I had done a ton of interviews with a ton of different places and I wanted to talk about this because I do feel like this is important if you are not out as trans yet or whatever because news media magazines whatever you can think of are obsessed with trans people they if you walk out the door and you identify as trans there will be news coverage right outside on the sidewalk willing like wanting to ask you questions about it they are they go insane about it and i wish i would have known this before like i don't know doing interviews and stuff not that i regret any interviews i necessarily did i just feel like um i would want someone to tell me this because I just thought that like they all have good intentions and stuff when that couldn't be further from the truth. They just want that juicy clickbait magazine cover or news story, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they couldn't give two shits about you or the trans community and well not all of them but most of them. I did a news story for this one place. I, the name is like slipping my mind but basically other companies like took that story and published it if I could go back I wouldn't have said some of the stuff I put in that interview because I didn't realize that other people would take the story and twist it so yeah you got to be careful what you talk about and I will tell you this right now if anyone is trying to interview you about your life and everything do not I repeat do not mention any surgery because they will try and twist it and make it seem like you're just some surgery obsessed monster i've seen them do this with countless people countless even if they're not trans even if they're like a feminine gay guy or whatever or non whatever they will try and do that for that juicy ass title trans barbie spends 50 grand on her transformation from young lad to blonde bimbo barbie or whatever a trans woman spends seventy five thousand dollars on nose or just stupid shit like that and not only that but they will try and twist it to make it sound like you're like doing it for surgery or doing it for the wrong reasons even if you're not and i know people personally who that who's that has happened to and even for me new like a few um people tried to twist that for me and my brother that we were like obsessed and like did it all for the fame and for the surgery even though that like where the fuck did that even come from so be aware of that if they start asking you any questions about surgery then no comment just say no comment because they don't give a fuck also on that they you gotta be careful too because when I did an interview for the news, my local news channel, the, the actual interview that aired was so different from the actual interview. It was actually like scary. Like they were asking me so many questions about like my life and stuff but then on the actual like showing of the thing, it, I don't know, it just seemed like so dramatic and I was just like what the fuck like I don't know they took all of me and my brother's like sayings that we said and like made it into something that it wasn't even yeah you got to be careful with that too that's why I don't really do interviews and stuff anymore because it's like I don't I don't know they just want to use you also I kind of mentioned they they will try and twist it into a bad light not everyone but most of them will because a lot of people 
a lot of people are more accepting of transgender people now, but it is still a huge, like, mm, ew. It's, like, easier to sell a negative story as opposed to, like, like, because let's be honest, if you saw, like, something negative about Kim Kardashian as opposed to, oh my god, Kim Kardashian, like, is so happy now and, like, loving life, which one are you going to pick? You're going to pick the negative one because negativity just draws attention. So be careful of that. And if you sense that they're trying to do that while you're, like, getting interviewed or if you know, like, the sun in the UK, fuck that company. Fuck that company so hard but yeah and then I just wanted to mention like the other day Olive was telling me how they showed this trans guy um, on a magazine cover or something and he had just had a baby and was breastfeeding his baby or whatever and we were just sitting there shaking our heads because like yes you can do what you want but that paints a picture that all trans guys want to do that when that could not be the furthest from the truth. Like that is the exact opposite of what my brother wants to do with his life. And I'm not judging the person for doing that because you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Like I said, don't get that twisted. Don't twist my word. You can do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, people who don't know, who aren't educated on trans like anything trans, they're gonna see that and be like, oh, that's how they all are. That's how all those fucking weirdos are. That's that and that sucks. And it sucks that we all have to be held to like this standard. Just want to mention that most of the time they are not interviewing you because they care about your story or they even care about you as a person. They're just trying to get that juicy ass story so that they can post it, get a lot of attention, and um, yeah, and let me tell you about something else that kind of goes with this. I'm not gonna say the channel name, but I'm, if you watch like those YouTube channels with like, that are kind of like My Strange Addiction, but not My Strange Addiction, it's just like interesting people or whatever. This YouTube channel was emailing me and my brother. They recently just stopped, but I literally got an email last month and they were saying that they wanted to come to our house and film us and like do a little like YouTube video on us, but it was like more of a documentary video. You guys, that channel is just known for making people look bad. Like take, taking someone with like a quirk about them and embarrassing them. They're known for taking like some, like some strange people and making them look even worse and I was watching all of their videos and all of them are in such a negative light. Like all of their videos have like 1,000 likes and like 20,000 dislikes or something like, and it's just bad. And you can tell in those videos that they just posted those videos to A, get a ton of views and B, to embarrass the people they're making the, the little docu-series about or whatever, not docu-series, documentary. So. They were blowing up my inbox. They messaged me on my private Facebook, my brother on my private, on his private Facebook, all my emails constantly. And it's like, calm down. No, like we're not about to get ridiculed, made fools of. So no. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that because people are going to take advantage of you. They're going to be like, like, they're going to be like, oh my God, like, let's pretend your name right now watching your trans your trans name is Sally they're gonna be like oh my god Sally I just came across your story it's so inspirational I would love to hear more about it and um like you're just so inspiring you're gonna change the world and then next thing you know you're gonna open the magazine Sally Mae is a fucking ass bitch who transitioned for fame and for guys Bitch, fuck out of here with that. So, um, I just thought I would let you guys know because, again, I didn't realize that that was a thing, but I guess it is. So, just be careful. Um, don't let them punk you because that's not cool. And, um, you don't want people sharing your, um, news article with, like, laughing emojis and stuff. So... 
yeah, let me know if you guys have had like similar experiences with that or if you agree. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!